What is up players, it is Warboss Tay up in this mug. I know it's been a while since I've made any videos and this is part of the reason, one fourth of the reason why. Along with all of my regular commissions that I've been working on on the side, the past couple of weeks I've been jamming to finish some entries to a local painting competition. It was very last minute, my local store said that uh, Games Workshop was giving them prize support, but only if they uh, finished this competition within a certain amount of time. So I really, really had to jam if I wanted to get uh, throw my hat in the ring, which I did, and I'm very happy with the results. I think uh, I've done some pretty solid work, considering that I've been splitting my time between these four pieces along with my uh, regular commission painting projects that I'm working on. So let me take you through all of them, starting with this guy. You might have seen the pictures on my Facebook and Twitter. I'm going to be writing up a little uh, fluff poem that goes along with him, kind of uh, like a little a little story for, for this piece. But it is, uh, I'm calling them the Brothers Baglump and their Thunder Tusk Fluffy Rump. They are two ogres that are on a thunder tusk for the ogre kingdom's range and uh, I decided to build them to kind of go along with if I want to um, sell them along with if I haven't sold yet my ogre kingdom's army which uh, is still on sale if you're interested you can check out my my store warbosstastestudios.com in the store section I kind of retooled the entire website hopefully make it a little bit easier to navigate and a little bit cleaner if you check out the store I've um, grouped all of my different products into different uh, categories, collections, I guess you could call them. So I'm going to be adding this guy to the uh, monsters category, large monsters, I guess. I haven't really had anything to put in there yet, but he'll be the first entry, and um, along with the, the army bundle for my ogres, which are still on sale there. I think this is a beautiful piece. First of all, the Thunder Tusk box has so many bits. It is the... I guess it is what I've always wanted for for a box set. If you just take a look at, not only do you have the basic Thunder Tusk or Stone Horn and the Riders, but the amount of extras that you could put on from all the little hooks that you could glue onto the horns or the uh, the, thr the throne, the saddle, to the uh, different things you can hang on the chains. I decided to go just all out with it because my theme for this guy is I wanted these guys to be like mercenaries, kind of like how man-eaters in the fluff are mercenaries that leave their tribe and go out into various parts of the world and sell their services and kind of adopt the culture. So you've got your ninja ogre, your Araby ogre that kind of looks like a, a like Lawrence of Arabia with the, the head wrap and the um, the scimitar. You've got your Imperial Ogre, your Empire Ogre that, that has uh, the, the feather and the large feather and the cap. And so I decided to make these guys kind of like Imperial Man-Eater Ogres. I don't know how they also got their Thunder Tusk to uh, come down and and, and be with them, but in my fluff, these two guys left their tribe. They decided they really liked the empire because they liked the food, they liked the beer. So they they kind of stay there and they sell their services. And here are some bits on them. First of all, the uh, I think the thing that is hopefully the the first thing you see is the twin-tailed comet of Sigmar on there on the top of the the throne there. And I went with a red and blue color scheme for the, the two brothers because it's kind of um, indicative of the city of Altdorf. And uh, I've also decorated the, the entire Thunder Tusk with a bunch of shields that reflect the red and blue theme. You'll also see on the base here, I've added a Bretonian. And in my fluff, he's not a prisoner, even though he's chained up to them, but he just loves food and drink as much as they do, and sometimes he gets drunk and he wanders off at night. But uh, his name is La Toupe, and he loves food and drink, and he <laughs> he's hanging out with them because they get so much food and drink, so he likes to uh, play his, his little bongo drums there with uh, those his little frog drumsticks. And I think he's a great thing to add to the bass. Also, the reason why I like adding things like him and the little doggy back here to the bass is because it allows you to see the scale of the model. If you didn't know how big the Thunder Tusk was, like uh, most people, I think when they first come up with these giant monsters, the way they shoot the pictures and everything, it's kind of difficult to see how it stacks up to a normal size model. So this is an, a 28 millimeter infantry model. I decided to put him on the base just so anybody looking at him online or on the pictures will see him. I did the uh, chain with the 
the, the, the bear trap because I think that's such a great look. The red and blue of Altdorf because that's their, their favorite city. Got the best food, the best drink. You can see some red and blue. I like the red and blue because it very... It contrasts really nicely with the white and the drab and I went with dead snow for the base and a, a very like tundra look. I wanted to go with a, th a, a kind of a thawing, like uh, the, the snow is melting the spring thaw, and so I wanted the bright red and blue to to counter everything. I added lots of details, like the two of them, the, the guy in the front, the two brothers, one is named Sump, the other is named Gump, they are the brothers Buglump. Uh, I think Sir Gump here in the front fancies himself a knight, but uh, none of the knightly orders wanted to give him a knighthood or armor or anything, so he just took a bucket, threw it on his head, put on a little, a little uh, laurel there, or I guess what would you call it? Not a wreath. Was it? Would it be a? I don't know. That little green thing they have on all the Empire troops. Ah, my my history and my my heraldry is failing me. He's also got a red feather there, and I just had so much fun painting him. You could see the amount of highlighting and the detail I put into his face. I gave him some nice purpley red lips to uh, really pick out his those uh, his bottom lip from the rest of his face. He's got some nice uh, dark ivory. Chompers, uh, the sculpting on the teeth is really good because it's just kind of weird, gnarly teeth. And uh, I did his eyes, of course, which you can kind of, kind of see. There you go. And uh, his brother Sump in the background fancies himself more of a long-range artillerist. So he was a lead belcher in the tribe, which are the guys that hold the big cannons. But um, he doesn't like he didn't like the sound of the cannons and uh, neither does fluffy rump their thunder tusk so he's decided to go with the uh, giant crossbow there you can see him picking his teeth he had a, a late lunch I gave him some nice bags under his eyes so uh, that dark blue contrasted with the reddish purple of his lip kind of really define his face gives it a really nice effect if you'd like to copy my skin recipe I'd uh, be happy to share it with you it's very very simple it's Rackarth flesh shaded with Raikland Flesh Aid, highlighted up by adding uh, a little bit of Cadian Flesh Tone to some, just a very, very tiny bit to your Rackarth Flesh and uh, doing a final glaze of Raikland Flesh Shade. You get a real nice, natural looking skin if you do many glazes, like thin glazes of that Raikland Flesh Shade and you layer up your, your colors uh, very gradually. It's kind of also what I did with the horns, you can see right up there. Uh, by adding in, uh, or by, by uh, gradually adding the colors and glazing the colors to make the blend together. The crossbow bolt slash banner is a spare demigriff banner that I got from the demigriff kit. And uh, you've got different bits on the back here. We could take a look at some of them before we get to the, <laughs> the, the piece that I'm, uh, that I love the most. You've got a uh, little pot of leftovers there, which I, I did some uh, Tamiya Red, or you could use Blood for the Blood God to make nice and bloody. You've got a pigskin water, I guess, uh, water skin made out of an actual pig. I think this is so funny. Like, I realized when I was putting it together, you can see the two back legs of the pig. It's like they just chopped it in half and tied the front off and made a little, a little water canteen, a little water skin. You got some baby back ribs there, and uh, on the back you've got a tongue from what looks like a very large monster. You've got a hand hanging over there, which I've seen painted up as either like a, an ogre hand, but I've d I did it as a green skin, as an orc hand there. You've got a chicken, which you can either paint up nice and golden brown, like it's been cooked and is nice and crispy, but the uh, the the what do I want to call it? The cover of the Thunder Tusk box has it in this like very white pink, like it's a raw chicken, like it's fresh uh, out of the out of the cooler and it's thawing before you cook it. So I love that. So I decided to go with kind of a similar look for that. And that's basically just base coat in Bugman's Glow and then highlight up by adding white, like pure white shade with very thin layers of Raikland Flesh Shade. And there you go. Finally, <laughs> My favorite part. Okay, so the story with this guy, this captive, is that he is a, a rogue agent, an agent of chaos who kind of infiltrated the Altdorf 
state troops, the Aldorf Guard, whatever you want to call it, the military. And he made off with a bunch of secret plans, documents, troop movements, everything. He's going back to his uh, masters to deliver them and uh, these guys catch up with them. Their uh, commanding officer says, Brothers Baglump, you must find and retrieve this rogue agent. Bring him back for uh, investigation. Do not eat him. Do not kill him. And so they're like, okay. And uh, they tracked him down. This vulture is uh, part of the, I guess, the um, their tracking that helped them track him down, so he's their buddy. And I decided to prop it. Okay, so my idea was I, I know I wanted to have this this element to the to the model where you've got this uh, captive guy in Empire colors on the back. I had to justify him by not saying that he's going to be someone that they're going to eat. And um, so I decided to put him on and hang him and create that background fiction. Still have him in the Altdorf colors because I think you can get some very nice blues to pop and I put the vulture on which is supposed to go with the hunter I believe the hunter option but I decided to put it on this one because it's such a fun looking piece and you can really highlight the scale uh, the feathers not the scales the feathers really nicely and uh, so I just put him on some demi griff halberds just crossed them over there and there you go that's the completed model I love this figure so much it is one of the uh, more favorite things I've I've done I added some secret weapons uh, master class effects the crushed glass with the realistic water to do the ice there and I also frosted the thunder tusks I guess tusks with ice as well to give it a very cool looking frosted effect I love this model I uh, hate to sell it but I think that it would look pretty cool in anybody's collection I hope you consider buying it I'll put a link to the store down in the bottom in the description and thank you so much for watching and uh, stay tuned to see what else I've been doing in my studio